Okay, my name is Benjamin, and today we are going to make a face puppet, a Star Wars ship, and a bow. Okay, these are materials you need. Paper, of course, and some collars, and glue, and scissors. And right here, follow me. This is my lovely assistant, Tucker. Say hi, Tucker. Hi. And then we're going back here. So, what you do with the paper, you make it too square, make it shorter. If you already have a square paper, you don't need to do this. But if you have long paper like this, you, you have to do this. What I like to do is make it straight. Do this, I like to crease it. I, I, I level it up, I check how high is it first, and then I level it up. This might take a while. Too long. I'm going to make what? The first thing I'm going to make is a paper face talking puppet. Oh, okay. That's what I call it. Oh, no. Where, where did you get that idea, BJ? Well, I just, I just started making shapes. I like to crease it with my thumbnail. Like, yeah, but where did you get the idea? I got it from, I don't know, I just started making shapes out of paper, square paper. You don't know where is, where is the... Uh... You get your scissors and cut this area. Don't cut the this half triangle, because that's what you'll need. I like to, I like to hold it with my left. If you're righty, then... You do this instead. You hold it. You hold it. No, left-handed. If you're left-handed, then you, you hold it with your right hand, and then cut it from this area. But I'm not a lefty, so that's a righty. How do you call it? Lefty righty. <laughs> I like to look where it is. So then I cut. To the line, you might accidentally cut a little bit of the square, like I did a little bit, but don't worry about that. Try not to cut it all the way. What I like to do sometimes is I like to cut this all the way up to the top. Well, you don't need a strip of paper. I like to cut this all the way to the top and then trim the one on, that's still on the paper. might take a while, not too long. There. Take that beat to one. Okay, throw that away or if you want to use it. Now you got your square. It's There's a line in the middle, right? So what you do next, face it down. Place the camera down. What you do next is you make a triangle like this. See this? You make the line, the two edges that the line is touching, you make it touch to each other like this. Okay, sir. I like to level it up from the top. You don't have to level up here because it all might mess up. And then do it here. I use my thumbnail to do it because it's more, it's a more straight and flattened. After you do that, and, and I can also make a fortune teller. Stop scratching. <laughs> I can also make a fortune teller, but in order to make, um, this is like sort of make a fortune teller, but I'm doing something else differently. So what you do is make it go here. Make sure. This is touching the middle. Is that the puppet? It will. It will be a puppet, but I'm gonna do the same steps as a cootie catcher, but a little differently. I'll show you the cootie catcher first, and then 
I'm not gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna take it apart. It looks like an envelope. No, not really. I know how to make an envelope though. Yeah. And a wallet. Yeah. Very sure. Talented boy. And then this. I didn't even know how to make an envelope. My friend Colin taught me. Oh, he did? Yeah. That. It'll be in for three two, right? Yeah. That. Facing time. Try not to make it. Try to do it gently when you're going across the line. Because it will accidentally do... Oh get up like this and you might accidentally rip it a little bit so that's why I would do it carefully jump over why did it take time? I know it takes for quite a time this is a cootie catcher I'm gonna make the face puppet I'm gonna take the cootie catcher apart and take the face puppet this is a cootie catcher I think you have to do it slowly again. You have to do it slowly. And it, I, I, I also try to make it a box because the mouth how it opens. So what you do is write colors on this, and then on the inside, on this part, you write numbers, and the, the and under the numbers of here, it'll have triangles. Um, you write your fortune, or it could also be a cootie catcher. Okay. Yeah, but I thought you're going to make a. I am. I puppet. just took it apart. That's what I need to do first. I don't need to make a cootie catcher. I have to do this. Yeah. And then I make it. I make the points here. Touch it. Make this like that. I couldn't even see it because of the sun. Let's reset this one. No, it's just fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So, and then I'll show you what it's it looks so like once it's all folded. This is what it's supposed to look like right now. It looks like, see, it looks like a square, a little miniature square. Then you crease the edges, do it gently because you might accidentally rip the paper here. And you don't have to be careful about that hole, it doesn't open up a line. Okay. Then what you do next is you flip it over to the back and then you grab here and then make sure it's lined up to this line right here. So you really have to line it up? Yeah, I, I like to line it up to make it straight. Okay. Well, you have to anyways. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, it looks like an envelope. <laughs> One second. Okay, now I have to remember. So after you did that, you fold it. Let's um, take away that. Uh, that thing and then you make it triangles you don't have to do it all for now you just make one and make you fold it and it'll fold by itself and make this one by one yeah I'm on side by side yeah it should be side by side see this this crease it let's make it go Stay down. See, this is what it's supposed to look like for now. And then do what I told you before. Line it up. And crease it gently here, because there are holes right there. Line holes. And then this. This. What I like to do sometimes, I try to make like origami paper by folding a paper 
don't try and be careful if it's really folded if you fold it into shapes because what happens is if you stick a pencil right there you stick a pencil into the face puppets in the back if you stick it into the back okay this is it you fold it like this and what you do is next is you do this and when you do this after well, after you do this you do this, and then once you see the thing, you put it together. It looks sort of like a heart. Yeah. And then this this can also be a rooster, and this is a face. Wait. And you have to unfold the mouth right here and do this so it doesn't... I'll have to do it at the same time. That's complicated. And then you start talking. What I like to do is get some colors... Right here, get any color, and if you want to make it, wait, no, you don't need glue for the face puppet. If you want to color it, uh, if you want to make girl, I usually use marker for lipstick. If you want to make lipstick right here, make the eyes and stuff. I'll be back real quick. I want to show you. Okay, I'm back. This is the one I made for my mom. Here's the one I made for my mom. Oh, she's a girl. <laughs> I tried to make it a boy, but my classmate said it looks like a girl because the lips. See? Yeah, because you put it. Lipstick. I trimmed. I trimmed this just a little bit and made the marker go like that to make it look a little realistic. But don't, but if it, what happens if, if the mouth doesn't touch like that, what you need to do is hold it like this. If that doesn't work, then what you need to do, just cut a little bit like this, see? A little yeah, can, bit. Can you then, put like this? Yeah. And then how to decorate it is you fold it like this, and then you color here for the lips or something, and then the hair stuff yellow yeah. yeah blonde i don't have yellow here it's a blonde <laughs> it's a blend okay and i do this to make it look nervous oh no why oh, oh. okay hello okay. and then there's one more uh there's actually a few more okay i'm i'm good see you next see you next and then next time. if you if like this video and then see if you can get Let's say 30 likes and I'll make the next paper creations. Leave a comment below. Bye.